again to our YouTube channel. Uh, this is in Mathematics with Engineer Abs. Uh, today I have something for you guys, uh, latitude and longitudes, and uh, specifically a question, uh, 1994. Now the reason why I want us to look at this question because uh, the part two of it has been uh, a problem to both teachers, even to the students. So I want us to look at it together so that we see the way uh, we can go about it. Now the question says, uh, A and B are two points on the latitude, latitudes to 40 degrees north. The two points lie on the longitudes 20 degrees west and 100 degrees east, respectively. Calculate Roman 1, the distance from A to B along parallel of latitude. You can take note on that. And then B of it, in which this is now where the problem is, is the shortest distance from A to B along, uh, uh, along great circle. Then we are given pi to be 22 over 7. Then we take the radius of the earth to be 6,370 kilometers. So let's look at the solution, the way we can go about it and make sure that you pay attention here. But before we look at it, uh, in case you're watching this video for the very first time, please uh, take a second or two, uh, click that subscribe button so that the next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. So without any further ado, Let's dive in here. So the solution here, uh, let's just sketch so that we see where, where, the, 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 uh, where the position A and B lie. So we are told it is on the latitude, which is 40. Remember, uh, the equator is our reference here. Uh, this is our equator, which is our reference when you're talking about the latitude. Then uh, it was on the north of it, which is 40. So we can say maybe that is 40, 40 degrees north. Then we have the two latitudes here, which is around west. The one of it is west. I love another one is on the east. So on the east part of it, we can say that uh, that is 100 degrees east. Then we have another, uh, th that one to be 20 degrees west. So this is A, that is B. So we want to calculate that distance there. Distance there. So when we talk about uh, latitude, um, that one now we calculate the distance on a small circles. And you know the distance on a small circle is, um, is a, a theta over 360, 2 pi r cos of alpha whereby the theta here is the angle difference and uh, alpha here is that latitude uh, angle, is the latitude angle. So can we now get the angle difference? Angle difference here that we are going to use, the angle difference. Now you go to the, uh, to the longitudes and then you see this is on the west side and the east. So if, uh, if they are, on the different side, which is the west to east, then we add. If it is west to west, then you subtract, or east to east, you subtract. But if it is on the east and the west, then we add for us to get the angle difference. So that is 20 plus 100, and we get it to be 120 degrees. So the angle difference there is 120. But when you look at the alpha here, the alpha is the latitude angle, which is, which is, 40 is the latitude angle, which is which is that 40. So can we just replace uh, so that uh, we see that is going to be 120 over 360 multiplied by 2 pi, which is 22 over 7, radius of the earth 6370, then cos of 40. Cos of 40, so we can this one uh, uh, leave the system. 12 goes here three times, uh, goes there three times, 7 we can see can go here. 910. So we can use calculator so that we get the distance, uh, we get the distance that we are required to determine. Uh, so let's get, that is 44. 
that is 44 multiplied by 910. Uh, 910, then multiply by the cos of 40. Okay, then we divide by 3. Divide by 3. So the answer we get here is, uh, the answer here is 10,224.139. So this is to the nearest whole number, that is 10224.139 kilometer so that is on the small circle this is the small circle so i hope we are together mm, now the part two of it which is the shorter distance now the shorter distance which is a long great circle must be uh, uh, must be shorter than this so uh, when you follow along the great circle then the distance should be shorter compared when you follow uh, 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 the parallel of latitude. So we expect our uh, the answer number two to be less than the one that we have just gotten here. So let's look at uh, the part B of it here, this side. Now, I don't want to draw it on, uh, you know, I don't want to sketch it. But now, I want you to take note here that uh, when you calculate the distances along the shortest distance, along the great circle, I mean, then there is a formula that you're supposed to use when it comes to the, uh, to the, the angle difference. Because we know that it is just theta over 360 to pi r, whereby the r is just the radius of the earth so where the problem lies is getting this data and now i want to know i want i want to i want to give you a very uh, uh, a, a certain formula so that that is the formula that you will be using in each and every question when you encounter such question so we have sine over half theta is equal to uh, sine sine over half beta cos of alpha cos of alpha and I want you I want us to define this formula here whereby this theta here is the angle is the angle difference and take note only on the great circles is when you use that then beta here is the longitude difference uh, longitude difference then alpha there is the latitude angle is the latitude latitude angle so that means now this is what we, want. we have that and we have that so what you want to find is how can we get that theta so can we now replace and then we get it very fast so we have sine over half theta that you want sine over half beta and the angle difference is 120 we got it we have ready that is 120 a uh, cause of the latitude which is 40. So we get sine over half theta that we want, sine a half of 120 is 60, cos of 40. So we have sine over half theta is equal to, let's use our calculator and find it. So we have sine, sine of 60, and uh, we are multiplying by cos, by cos of, uh, cos of 40. That is a uh, zero point zero point six six three four. Then, so we want to get the angle sine. Is that the sine inverse of that? So that because we have sine uh, half theta here, so the angle sine is zero point six three. So you make sure that you shift so that you get the sine inverse of that. And then our answer here become forty one. No, we have sine over half theta is equal to sine of 41.56. So how can we get theta? So a half theta is equal to 41.56. Then theta is equal to, multiply that one by 2. Multiply by 2. We get 83.12 degrees. So I hope we are together. That is, that is now our theta. So we can substitute here so that we get uh, the distance. So that is going to be 83.12 over 
360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 22 over 7 multiplied by 63 uh, 6370 which is the radius of the earth once again let's use our calculator so that we get that uh, 83 Point one two. Uh, we multiply by forty four. Uh, we multiply again by sixty three seventy. Then we are dividing by three sixty. We are dividing again by seven, and we get, and we get nine two four four point seven nine. So this is the distance. Uh, Roughly is to the old number. This is nine two four five kilometers. As easy as A B C D class. So that is the only way that you can do that. And this one, this formula uh, applies everywhere. So make sure that you take note of this formula so that you can apply it everywhere. Thank you so much. That is the end of our lesson. And uh, if you have learned something, make sure that give this video a thumbs. up and i do say that uh, uh, never stop learning because the people who stop learning stop living bye bye and see you in the next video